I talked to this other dude and he was telling me uh some LLC is cool for some people, but if you can't pay that annual fee, you know Man, what I'm saying? Yeah. It might you hurt you. You eight hundred dollars, you can't listen. You it might hurt you. Listen, brother, listen. Disregard that, man. Okay. We're not getting into business to lose. We the business to win, okay? All right, talk to us. A fee is a fee. It ain't nothing to talk about, man. If you can't pay the fee, what you, just stay home. <laughs> <laughs> they, got a, they got $220 reserved for each one of you niggas, man, right now. You heard me? You ain't got to do that for that $220? When you what break the fee up, what is it, like $65 a month or some shit like that? Man, listen, I, that, it ain't enough to think about it, man. Listen, man, niggas, cash your hands, man. We in business. We ain't doing this shit to lose, man. We doing this shit to win. I can dig it. That's the advice we looking for, too, man. That's the man. shit that people are looking for. That's the inspiration they missing, man. There's a lot of doubt that come into a motherfucker mind every single day. And it's, uh, you brought up the whole propaganda and victim mentality shit. Like, that's the shit that we be fed. Like, a lot of times you be like, I got all these ambitions. Why do I have all these negative thoughts? And it's like, that's what we fed. That's literally what we fed. And we got to uh, build the knowledge to be like, you know what? That's bullshit. I'm in control. I'm steering the motherfucking wheel right here. I'm going to decide what the fuck I want to do. So my question is to you, like, when 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 that negativity and all that shit sit in, what what do you do to come up out of that? What do you do to motivate yourself? What do you do to, to, to expel negative thoughts and shit like that? Don't let it sit in. You heard me? Don't let it sit in. I got a box in my head that I put bullshit in. And I got a lot of people around me that deal with bullshit. So I ain't got time to deal with it. It's just I got too much great business going on. I don't have, I don't, negativity is, nah, you got, and it's the people you're around though too. That's important. The people you're around. It's what they feeding you. You feel me? You got to know what's around you. You feel me? So I, I like to keep saying around businessmen, positive people, family oriented people that is not talking about getting up and pay all, over here on me or this nigga over here. And all. I don't have no time for that. You heard me? So the first thing is I don't let negativity sink in. That's the first thing I don't do. And the second thing is keep something on you just in case it go wrong. My nigga, you heard me? I, shit, I, I don't know. You feel me? Shit. Stay prayed up, man, because it's all in your mind, bro. It's really it, man. That's where the biggest battle is to me. Is in most people, a lot of times people is very talented and smart and know what they, and this is like they, they go through that battle in their mind and then they just end up fall into the bullshit, they fall into their vices, they smoke too much, drink too much, whatever the case they doing, they fall to that because it's like, they don't got people like y'all telling them like, nah, you can do this, like, nah, man, like, all that, man, they, they don't have That's people the telling them they can. The person who says they can do something and the person who says they can't do something are both right, because you're gonna believe whatever you tell yourself. So if you say, I can do this, you're gonna do it. But if you say, I can't do this, you gonna go sit your ass down somewhere. You're like, nah, I'm right. not gonna bust my ass. You know what I'm saying? Right. So both sides is right. But the whole point of that is though, is like, if somebody wasn't introduced to the camp part and only been introduced to the camp part, as far as a culture, how do we pull them out of it? And you mentioned a black man. I don't even like being called black uh business owner. How do we pull ourselves out of that? And that's my whole point. That's what I'm trying to get. And I like to tap into people like you because it's like you found a way to pull yourself out of it. You found a way at least to be on the path to go to and establish what you want to do. And we want people to understand that we take shit and these paths are, 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 are we making them. You know, it's, it's not we born and this what we got to do. And then, right. and it's not enough people to to tell. And that's, that's the whole main point is like we trying to pull ourselves out of this victim mentality. We trying to pull ourselves out of this lane that we didn't even set for ourselves. So so what do you think will be the answer to pull ourselves out of this shit? Four letter word. Four letter word. Read. Read. There you go. Ooh, that was Simple. a good one. You got to read what they reading. <laughs> Yeah, these they tell you the wild. books to read. You gotta read them. It's right there, man. It's, it's not. It's right there, man. It's not. It's, you gotta read, man. Okay. That's another. Can you get with the internet? Uh, it's fast course now. You don't even need to read the whole books. You can read all the bullet points and understand it if you really like. You like turn me, I don't. Think I can just 
Well, I can buy the line something and understand it. So it's just about reading, man. You got to read, bro. Read. I'm going to say read, 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 bro. Read. If you don't read, you're going to always be listening to what somebody's telling you. And you're going to believe it, too. That's Every the time. main message, then. Self-educate. Read. Understand. Sometimes everybody ain't going to always teach you something. 